friends, fellow beer geeks. I am Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have a beer for you from Athens, Georgia. This is the Terrapin Wake and Bake Coffee Oatmeal Stout. It comes in at 8.1% alcohol by volume, and it is uh, an oatmeal stout brewed with Jerry Joe's Coffee. It's a it's a local local to Athens, Georgia coffee roaster, and so it's a. Uh, should be a pretty good stout. I do like uh, do like most things I get from Terrapin. I haven't had this one in the past that I remember, so I thought I would go ahead and uh, grab one, give it a try, give it a review, let you know what I think of it. And so let's go ahead and uh, get it cracked open into a glass and see what it's all about. I did pay three fifty for this bottle, so a little bit a little bit pricey, but you know it is a pretty big beer, and hopefully it's pretty good and worth the price. So. And see what we got here. Okay, so this pours out a very, very dark black color, as one would expect of a stout, and particularly uh, a coffee stout. So at 8.1%, it's going to be pretty heavy, pretty thick. A little bit, about a one finger, or one and a half finger head uh, at the top. Not too much in the way. It seems of carbonation it just seems to be fading pretty fast. Let's see what the aroma is like. Definitely get a very strong, very nutty kind of coffee aroma on here. You know, you get those, those coffee beans that almost have like a, uh, like maybe a, a walnut sort of smell or a pecan sort of smell. It has that, that sort of oily, nutty sort of smell to it. Really nice, uh, fresh roasted coffee aroma. With a little bit of sweet maltiness there. Almost a little bit of a coconut sort of uh, aroma. I know there's not coconut in this beer, but it has sort of that sort of profile to it. Sort of a coconut chocolate sort of smell. So I'm excited to go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. Up front at the tip of your tongue you're hit with sort of a sweet maltiness and then in the middle you're getting sort of a uh, sort of a, like a medium roast nutty, very like I said, very nutty coffee, uh, like a pecan roast, a little bit of coconut, um, uh, and then the, in the finish you get a little bit of an alcohol burn on the, on, the, on the very end. It's a very interesting kind of kind of burn as it goes down. Really nice, really smooth, uh, really enjoyable. Not real dry and chalky, no kind of sort of, of a burnt, charred sort of flavors that you sometimes get with a, a coffee stout. It is kind of thin for an oatmeal stout, you know, usually oatmeal stouts have a little bit more body and considering this is uh, over 8% alcohol, you would think this would be a pretty heavy beer, but it's 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 just sort of on the medium side um, as far as body. Not a whole lot going on with the carbonation. Um, I'm able to stir up a, a little bit just by swirling the glass, but um, just as far as drinking, uh, not too much in the way of carbonation. It hits your tongue pretty pretty much straightforward. You're just getting the beer. Definitely getting a lot of that sort of that coffee liqueur, alcohol burns in the nose. Uh, if, you, if you just put your nose in the glass and inhale, you're getting a lot of that alcohol, uh, which is, is, is still kind of odd considering, you know, this is 8%. It's not super high in alcohol. So if, if, if you like that kind of thing, then maybe this is something something you would like. It's not it's not totally off-putting, you know, it's, it's to me it's not that, it's not a, it's not, it's not hurting it, it's not helping it, it's just sort of there. Uh, it's, it's not it's not so strong that's you know knocking me out and making me think I'm drinking like a like a shot of coffee or something. But it definitely has a very nice quality coffee flavor to it. It's not, you know, this isn't your Folgers coffee in here. This is there's some really good, really good, nice uh, nice well roasted coffee beans in here, really quality stuff. So that's uh, if you're a coffee lover, you'll probably like this beer quite a bit. It's uh, very much, very much coffee forward. Very nice, uh, light roast coffee flavor to me. Uh, you know, not real dry and chalky. Just really nice, nutty, oily sort of coffee flavor. Really nice, really enjoyable. Uh, so with that being said, for me personally, I think I'm going to rate this at a seven out of ten. Uh, I like it pretty well. Uh, it's, it's not wouldn't be my go-to beer. Uh, but it's it's a pretty good beer, and it's it's something like I said. If you like if you like coffee, if you're a coffee lover, definitely give this one a try. If you can get Terrapin beers, I know they're sort of 
slowly growing. They're sort of expanding out their market. They're getting into more and more states, so that's a that's a great thing. So yeah, seven out of ten. Uh, I want to thank you for watching another episode of the Craft Beer Geek. And if you would, please help us out by using the Amazon link in the show notes below or on the right-hand side of the page on craftbeergeek.com. Thank you for those of you who have used that already. It's helped us out a great bit. And uh, once again, I want to leave you with saying, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.